This is Freed's first time. My name is Freed, and it's been a while. Hope you're doing all right. Today we're checking out the Glen Grant 15-year-old single malt Scotch whiskey, and we're going to see how it stacks up to the other 15-year-old single malts on the market because this one's fairly inexpensive and inaccessible. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to nose it. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to ultimately give it a score, and then at the very end, I'm going to pair it with a song. That seems like something that you would dig and watch in the future. Please consider subscribing or give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot, and I appreciate it. All right, well, this 15-year-old space side comes in at 50% ABV, which is what they are calling batch strength. It is non-chill filtered, but it probably is colored. I haven't found any information in out there, nor is there any information on the bottle or the box um, indicating otherwise. So I'm just going to assume it is. And while it is Glenn Grant by name, it's not Glenn Grant by ownership. This thing was bought by the Campari company a little while ago, and they primarily use this as blends, like for Chivas Regal and things like that. But they do have a core range of a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, an 18-year-old, and one called the Arborealis, Arborealis, Areolialis. I think it's the Arborealis, like a tree, a tree thing. And I did go through a bottle of the 10, and it was unremarkable, and I was happy to have it gone. It was nothing. Nothing short of, but this one, 50% ABV, and I think it could mm, hold a candle, hold a candle, we'll say. But um, let's just jump on in to the nosing and tasting notes, and we'll just get this over with, shall we? By the way, I paid 60 bucks for this. That was about a year ago, and I looked online on a Total Wine website, and it was about $69. For a 15-year-old single malt, not too bad. I have the liter bottle, um, but I think the $69 were for, was for the 700 So, you know, take that information and do what you want to do with it. The color, I'd say it's, it's a light straw, but since I couldn't find any information on whether or not it is colored or not, I'm just going to think of it as... A basic bourbon matured, which is what it was matured in, uh, first fill bourbon barrels. Um, standard bourbon matured, single malt. So there's that. You're going to hear that a lot, actually. Standard standard bourbon matured, standard bourbon matured, which is, uh, you get a lot of that in this one for sure. Like canned pears with, with the syrup. Light, like a light tobacco, like a cigarette tobacco, not like a something heady like a cigar or a pipe. Like a strawberry vanilla swirl ice cream. Honeysuckle. Very spirit forward. It's nice. It's a good nose. I like it. But it doesn't really change. It's pretty standard. Every time you go back to it, it's the same. But those notes are pleasant. I don't know. Let's try it. Shall we? Come back. Still very spirit forward, pretty hot, but not in a, in a assaulting, offensive type of way. It's a bit sweet. You get like a bready, kind of a burnt toast vibe with like a mixed berry jam smear all on top of it. And then just a bitterness that hits on the tongue. All the other like main flavors that I just mentioned kind of fall by the wayside and that bitterness and heat stick around. For a medium to long time, <laughs> it's just the finish is a bit bitter for me, and it's got a little teeny tiny bit of that fruitiness, kind of like a dry white wine. You would experience that dryness on your tongue, and it's it's not it's not horrible. It's still there, it's still going, it's still going. It's just that the the flavors that are still going aren't the most experience experience aren't the most pleasant, and that's not. Not a fan. If you hear a lot of fireworks going off, it's Chinese New Year today uh, here in China, so everyone's going firework crazy. It's kind of fun. It's just, it's very standard. Very first fill bourbon barrel matured spirit forward whiskey. And if you like that, then this might be for you. It, it it drinks a little younger than what the age would indicate. It's a little hot and a little rough around the edges. I would like a little bit more of a rounded approach to it all. And the flavors as a whole are just a bit, a bit off, just a bit off. They could have been just honed in and 
and dialed and polished just a little bit more than they are. Is it bad? No, it's not bad. Is it worth the price? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, I would personally, I would go and spend a couple of extra bucks and go with the Spayburn 15. It's everything I just described as far as the roundedness and the polishedness with a little bit of a sherry vibe and the bourbon, uh, bourbon flavors. Way better, way, way better, just for a couple bucks more. And actually, depending on where you're shopping, it could be just the same price. So always, any day, all day. Now, the scoring for the Glen Grant 15. Um, as mentioned before, I wasn't totally sure whether or not it had been colored or not, so I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. Check my notes. The nose, surprise, surprise, my favorite part of the whole thing. I give that a 12 out of 15. The palette, 11 out of 15, and the finish, a 9 out of 15 for a grand total of 36 out of 50 with my scoring system, as you just previously heard. Now, the song I chose for this, and it works. I like it a lot. Sometimes I choose a song that is basically the musical equivalent of that whiskey, and sometimes I choose a song that is like a pairing, like a food pairing or a, or a anything pairing with the whiskey. But this case, it's a little bit of both. It's I'm not getting excited by the Beths, 2020. It's upbeat, it's loud, it's melodic and fun, it's simple, but it won't let you down and it's just a perfect equivalent to this whiskey and I think it does pair well with it as well. So pour a glass of this, crank up that song and have a good old time. I hope you liked it and it's good to be back. I'll keep kicking these out as often as I can. Again, if you like these types of things, please consider subscribing or give me a thumbs up. It means a lot. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.